Hi, this is Josh from Brown Dog Gadgets. Today I'll be showing you how to make one of our non-soldering solar lantern kits. You can make this project from scratch, otherwise you can grab a kit from us over at browndoggadgets.com. For this project you'll need the following. Double-sided foam tape, screwdriver, scissors, and wire stripper, AAA battery holder, two rechargeable AAA batteries, a solar cell, a mini breadboard, and a metal torrid. You'll need two pin terminals, a PNP transistor and PN transistor, diode, 4.7 kilo ohm resistor, 1000 kilo ohm resistor, and an LED of your choice. First start things out by stripping the ends of both your solar cell and your battery holder. Give yourself a lot of extra wire. Put the positive wire from your battery holder in the left screw terminal, screwed into place, and put the positive wire from your solar cell in the right terminal spot. Make sure they're nice and snug in there and the wires aren't touching each other. Breadboards are great. They're nice for doing prototyping and small projects on. From top to bottom, all the rows are connected, but not from left to right. Take your screw terminal and put it so that the pins are in the first row and the second row. Take your 2N3906 transistor and bend the left leg out just a little bit. Not too much or it will break. Put the left leg of your transistor in the second row. Put the middle leg in the fourth row and the right leg in the fifth row. You're going to be skipping that third row completely. Next, take your diode. Put it so that the positive side is in the first row and the negative side is in the second row. Take your 4.7 kilo ohm resistor. One leg will go in the first row, and the other leg will go in the same row as the middle leg of your transistor, which in this case is row 4. To make life easier, I've cut down the legs both the resistor and the diode. You can do the same thing with the transistor, but it's not sticking up very high. Grab your torrid and your two solid core pieces of wire. Stick them through about an inch or two, give yourself as much room as you feel the urge to, and then start twisting them around. The key is to not overlap or cross over any of the wires. You want to be going black, red, black, red, black, red about eight or nine times. This is the one area where people tend to screw up, so don't feel bad if you do. We've got two wires, two colors, and four ends. Notice we have a left side and a right side. Grab the red wire from your right side, and your black wire from your left side and twist them together. They go to the same spot on our breadboard uh, in a later step. The other two wires you can leave there and just let them be until later. Grab the negative wire from your battery holder and the negative wire from your solar cell, strip them and twist them together. Then grab your second screw terminal and put them into the right side. To keep things simple, we're going to put that screw terminal in the top right corner so it's taking up the far top right two pins, with the wires going into the left pin. Take your other transistor and put it so the far right leg is in the second row, the middle leg is in the third row, and the left leg is in the fourth row for going from right to left. Grab your 1000 ohm resistor and put one leg into the same row as the center leg of your transistor and the other leg just out in the middle of nowhere. Doesn't matter where, just as long as it's away from everything else. Our LED has two legs. The long leg is the positive leg and the negative leg is the short leg. Spread them apart a bit. Our long positive leg is going into the same row as the left leg of our transistor. Our short negative leg of our LED is going into the same row as our right leg of our transistor. The last item to put on is our torrid. These two wires we twisted together, they get used with that first transistor of ours on that right leg which has nothing else hooked up to it. One of our two wires will go into the same row as that unused leg of our resistor, the one in the middle of nowhere. That final wire needs to go into the same row as the positive leg of our LED and the left leg of our transistor. I actually messed it up in this uh, video right here. I fix it later on, but it needs to go in the same row as the left leg and the positive leg of the LED. At this point it should be working. Throw some batteries in your battery holder, put the solar cell upside down since it's dark detecting, it needs to think that it's dark, and your LED should turn on. If not, double check everything, make sure you haven't skipped any rows with your breadboard, and everything is pushed in properly. 
A wide-mouthed mason jar makes a great enclosure that looks nice and is also extremely cheap and simple. Just have to drill a hole in the top and stick everything on the inside with double-sided foam tape. If you have access to a laser cutter, you can use one of our free laser cut design templates we have on our website. If you don't have access to one, we have kits available that include the laser cut enclosures both in wood and acrylic. Use foam tape to hold the diffuser panels on the back of the wooden pieces. Use rubber bands or clamps, along with wood glue or Elmer's glue, to get all the pieces to glue together. Don't glue the top piece on because we need to be putting the electronics in there. But that's about it. If you have any questions, please check out our written instructions or our website, browndoggadgets.com. We hope you enjoyed learning how to do this and can hopefully apply these skills to other projects in the future. Thanks a bunch!